The da, 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 college football attendance numbers have dropped to the lowest since 1981. Now, the... Normal people would say, you know what, it was the year after COVID, there was still some COVID fright and whatnot going into this season, so yeah, there were going to be people that stayed at home, etc., but when you look at the numbers, uh, this is a continuing trend. It has declined every year since 2014. I mean, this is seven straight season, uh, seven, uh, excuse me, seven straight seasons, so uh, they're down to 39,848 per game attendance and you know 2014 was the last year that it went up and it was 44,603 I I'm curious if you think that there's anything more to this other than uh you know everybody's got big TVs and you know COVID was this year etc cetera, etc cetera. Uh, I can go through the individual numbers uh, the only Conferences that actually went up this year were the MAC, which had the highest since 2006, the Sun Belt, which had the highest since 2013, and the Big Ten, which had the highest since 2018. Uh, everything else went down, 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 including the ACC, which was down 11.7 percent from 2019. They didn't record stats in 2020, obviously, but uh, but for the ACC, it's the lowest since 1990. Like, do you think that there's anything else that could be going on here? No, it's 100% product on the field. Florida State used to sell out that stadium year in and year out. Now they couldn't get 20000 if you paid them to go into it. Okay? Clemson, this is the part of having a big-time team have a down year. LSU didn't do very well in attendance this year. Why? Because they blew balls. Clemson wasn't very good, wasn't very entertaining, struggled to win a lot of games, ugly. Fans aren't coming out. The rest of the ACC is – Utrecht, Wake Forest, and Pitt were your two best teams. Not massive fan bases that are selling out stadiums when they're good. So, yeah, that's it. I think it's 100% profits on the field because the teams that are really good still sell out every game. And the teams that actually care about this, what I do think it means is a lot of those middling teams, like you talked about the Mac, but like there's a lot of other schools and a lot of other, like, I don't know how you take into effect the fact that Tulane lost two home games. So that's like 30-something thousand people, 40-something thousand people times two that got taken away from the attendance. Like, you know, so so I don't, I don't know what goes into these things to make a number. But if you're talking about all 130, you know, schools, that does, this doesn't concern me. If your team is putting a good product on the field, people are coming out to watch them week in and week out. This is not an economy thing. This is not a COVID thing. This is a the product on the field for a lot of these schools was bad, and people just aren't going to go watch bad products. Yes, yes. Uh, you add that along with the the COVID situation, and yeah, I mean, we did see Arkansas jumped up over fourteen thousand people uh, because yep. they had a good year. Yep. You know, because they went from being shitty to being amazing. Yes, if so if you win, comparative to what they what their expectations were. If you win, this you're going to have problem. a good year. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you can't, so you can't just say, "Oh, it's this" or "Oh, it's that." No, no, it's all about the product that you're putting on the field. All right, the Coliseum is rocking when USC is rocking. Okay, when when UCLA is 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 rolling, you know they that stadium is great, but they haven't been rolling in over a decade, and so it's it's dying. If they ever came back to life, people would show up in droves. I think you're right. I think you're right. The Pac-12, by the way, uh, their lowest attendance ever this season. They averaged 43,000. Yeah, but that's not their fault. I'm not going to blame the Pac-12 fans for this. We shit on the Pac-12 a lot. This isn't their fault. Their schools are – the majority of them were in California, and California was absolutely last year still locked down in a massive, tyrannical way. Like, Like. just the whole rest of the country was open with with no major issues at all, and and California just said we're not doing it, we're not budging, we don't care. Football's not that important, and that's the people that are in charge, not the fans. Yep. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE. 
at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.